Good morning. Wanted to give you a brief walk around here of the project we've been working on recently. Um, this is uh, on a flat roof commercial, as you can see. Um, and it's 461, uh, 480 watt panels. It's a ballasted Iron Ridge BX system. Um, and we're using Solar Edge for this one. It's 483 phase. Um, so it's 20, uh, 220 kilowatts DC, and we're maxing out uh, the 150% uh, DC to AC ratio uh, with the Solar Edge. Uh, we're doing 150 kW uh, AC, um, and that's because there's there's power company requirements here when you get over that size uh, for commercial projects. Um, so. This thing is going to produce a ton of power. And we're almost done. We're just uh, finishing making all the connections for the strings and everything. Um, and uh, should be done in the next few days here. It's really completely different doing a system like this. Um, you know, a residential system, we're there for maybe a day. And uh, <laughs> good to go. With this one, we had we had ten guys up on this roof for about five days, setting panels and blocks and baskets, and you know, getting everything tied together, all the wire management done, um, and uh, so yeah, just completely different process. I was operating the telehandler the entire time, so more fun for me too. So you can see the three-inch conduit. That is for the home runs. That's the output of the inverters there. That is running about uh, 400 feet, 390 feet over. Uh, and then we have it going off the edge of the roof over there down to the meter and disconnect and the tie-in. Uh, inside that conduit we have uh, it's uh, 350 KC mil uh, aluminum. See how the conduit's held on here with Dura blocks. These are just uh, solid rubber blocks with a piece of Unistrut on top. And uh, everything's just sitting on the roof, all weighted down, not gonna go anywhere. But you can't drill through a roof like this. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. So, here we go. So these are the inch and a quarter home runs. We're using thousand volt rated PV wire in these as well. Um, and then you have the solar edge inverters. We get a 20, a 30, and a 100. It gets us to 150. Um, so the wire way up here, we just split all the strings down into the inverters. Um, and then the outputs of the inverters are going into uh, the AC combiner, which is this massive load center here. This thing is taller than me. Um, so there we have it. And then three inch all the way across the roof. We're gonna be putting up flags as well. It's a requirement for the, uh, the inspectors. They wanna be able to see the conduit. The first time I was up here, there was 18 inches of snow, so I can see where they're coming from. So these are the fuses we're using. Three of these guys, 225 amp. You can see how big this is compared to my hand. These are some, some heavy duty fuses. And then there's the machine we've been using for this time here. This thing is brand new, 1056. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know.